Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Capital Maker. In today's episode, we'll be taking these suggestions from the comments and doing a blaster effect from Star Wars. Let's dive in. So first of all, we're going to take in our new footage and create a new composition with that footage. Next, create a new solid and name it Beam. Next, set the layer to screen. Next, make a mask of a straight line on the black solid. Next, we're gonna add the beam coming out of the blast. We're gonna use the saber effect for this, so you can find that linked in the description. First, we're gonna set the core type to layer masks. Next, you wanna use these settings to make it appear that the blaster is moving from right to left or left to right. I'd recommend using a combination of ends offset and start offset and then tweaking the end size and start size to get a nice variance in between. Once you've done that, make the solid a 3D layer and then position it to match the angle and position of your blaster. This can really help sell the effect, especially if it's being shot towards camera, which makes the parallax look really good. Next, you can duplicate the beam multiple times to create different angles for shots. Make sure to move the beam to add some variety to the shot as it stops it from getting boring. Next, you can pre-compose the layers to keep them all together. If you want, you can change the colors of the sabers. I kept it with a red as it's more like the original movies, but it's completely up to you. Next, we can add a lens flare to further emphasize the brightness of the laser. Simply go up to the effects and presets panel and select lens flares. Add that to the solid and then position it where the blaster is. I used the default, but you can use any of the other presets, it doesn't matter too much as it's purely cosmetic. You can then use the tritone effect to tint the lens flare to further match the laser. You can then trim the layer to only be a couple of frames as to make it a quick flash. Once you've done this, then duplicate it multiple times for every single shot that you fire. Next I add an adjustment layer and a curves effect to add some more lighting to the scene from the blaster. This really sells the effect as if you were to shoot a blaster in real life it would have a small burst of light coming out of the muzzle. And with that, your effect should be completed. Let's have a look. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it. You know what? I think you'll enjoy this video. It looks pretty good. Actually, while you're there, why not subscribe? Thanks for watching.